Hey everyone, I have here the results of opening a full box of LEGO Series 18 collectible minifigures. That's 60 six zero individual figures, each bagged separately. And this allows us to see just what comes in a box because you don't get the same number of each figure. So let me sort some of these out and show you the numbers. In one box, we get five each of the Brick Suit Guy and Brick Suit Girl. They share the title of most common figure in this series. By comparison, there are only four of the birthday cake guy for this 40th birthday of the minifigure series. We get four of the flower pot girl, and all of them have the same heads, I just turned one of them around. They set us up with four of the spider suit boy as well. There are four of the dragon suit guy. Guess how many of the next figure there are? Yep, it's four of the firework guy. There ended up being four of the cowboy costume guy, and they look pretty cool from the sides when you focus on just the horses, I think. Four uniform unicorn guys. Ah, we've gotten to the threes, starting with the cat costume girl. That's three of the party clown. Three of the cactus girl. Three of the race car guy. I wonder if you put all three of those on the track if they would work together or try to beat each other. Three of the elephant girl, and once again, all three of these have the same head. I just turned one of them around. And of course, it only makes sense that they would do the same number of birthday party boy and birthday party girl, with three of each in a box of 60. Last and least, there is only one solitary, individual, classic police officer figure in each box of 60 Series 18 minifigures. Not even two. Just one. It's kind of messed up. So here's how that looks with all of them sorted and lined up. From the fives to the fours, all the threes, and the solitary one. Let me know what you think of this distribution. Do you think this is pretty fair with the numbers of each that they included? Or is there any one particular figure that you wish was easier to get in larger numbers or easier to get at all? Or is there any one figure here that you feel really doesn't deserve to appear as many times as it does? For me personally, I feel like, well, first of all, that classic police officer should have been more easy to get for folks who want to get it. I think it's fine to leave that as the least common one in the series, given its relatively limited appeal, but I think two per box wouldn't have been unreasonable. And then I also think that the fire suit, excuse me, the firework guy uh, actually exists more times than he needs to. I feel like that's one of the weaker figures in this entire series, and he could have given up at least one spot to something else. Like maybe the flower pot girl. I think that that one should be pretty popular. It has a really useful flower pot piece that a lot of folks will like to use just by itself. And the headpiece is also usable, so I feel like that's a somewhat massable figure for uses other than just displaying it by itself. I am glad that they included the maximum number of the brick suit guy and brick suit girl because they are unique, they're interesting, and I feel like they are super collectible. So I'm glad that those do not exist in, uh, in quantities of just one per in each box. Uh, otherwise, I think the distribution personally is pretty fair. Uh, but let me know what you think, you know? Different people will have different perspectives and that doesn't mean that any one person's opinion is wrong. It's just all different. So I look forward to your feedback, your comments, and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.